Okay, turbos, about 8 a.m. And um, I'm making phone calls. I know some people that work uh, at tranny shops, so I'm going to call them real quick. See what it actually, see what I can find on whatnot. See what's a better route or avenue for me to take. I've done a pretty good amount of research on YouTube this morning. Pretty common of a governor pressure switch, you know, going out and solenoid. But I called a Raleigh. Fuck, that's like a they're 104 a piece. I can get a transmission from a scrapyard for $94 and have an extra part, you know? But we're gonna wait for a couple of those guys to call me back. So in the meantime, I'll eat my ponchos that I got last night. And we'll just see what's going on. Yeah, yay. Okay, it's been a good morning and an awesome good morning. All the other really important stuff this turned out really well, so I'm really happy about that. Um, getting some of the part of the tranny fought the hell out of me. But uh, I gotta run into town real quick, so I'm gonna load up the chain. I called them, they got my little trailer done. So that's perfect. And then, um, yeah, an exhaust bolt just fought the hell out of me. Out of all of them, it was the very last one, and it was the worst one to get to. Yeah, let's see, we got, got it really getting there, but yeah, it's, there's an exhaust bolt that's right, not the easy one, the one behind it. Yeah, of course, right? But luckily, got the hell out of that, had to pull the whole exhaust out. Um... Yeah, I got to run in town. Like I said, the trailer's done. I'm actually, I pulled the training lines off, so they're dripping, draining that last little bit. So we're going to go pick up my trailer and uh, get the new little chains on them and be done with that. And <sighs> Keep plugging away on this. Yeah, I enjoy it within reason. Well, a little after 4 o'clock, 4.15. It's out. It's a heavy pig by yourself. Now, need to go get the new one. Or the used one with the 13 month warranty. But that's in Kansas City and you gotta pull it off yourself from the pick and pull in Kansas City. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or if I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I need to look at the weather. So, I just wanted to give you an update. Moving forward. Well, the one that I need is in Missouri and they close at five o'clock. The other one that I thought had one, it closed at seven. Oh well, so tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back up under there. I'm gonna check for oil. The oil leaks, check the oil pan bolts, tighten them down. I did get the rail <coughs> jacked up and I got the little jack stands that I bought up there. So the suspension is unloaded and it's off those, off the ribs of my tires. So they're not getting all folded over. <clears throat> oh, and I can finally get my other tote. And get the last little bit of stuff in the trailer. I have that all done, said and done. Pick up a little trail in the morning and another busy day tomorrow. I guess the good thing about being retired is it's 5.20, I think. After that, shower and clean up because I need to get transmission fluid for this and oil because you have to take the damn, to get one bolt for the transmission for the bell housing, you have to take off the oil filter. So I had to drain all the oil. So I need to get an oil change for that. I have oil, so that's fine. Yeah, and then I'm gonna call it a day. Probably gonna post some videos because you guys haven't been seeing me for a couple weeks. Three weeks behind on Win Win Wednesday. Sorry. Yeah, so let's get this last little bit of stuff all knocked out. Only thing I got done now was uh, everything in the trailer. I forgot about these last little things that I wanted to do, so it's like perfect to get all this done. But, got all the totes and everything all done. Need my flashlight. Got, eh, there. Spare tire in that, got all that for tools, supplies, 
hardware, you know, just if you break down stuff like that. Got that one full of camping, like uh, kitchen stuff and everything. My little toolbox. I got the trash can. I got it mounted with the chain right around with the little cord on your side. And perfectly next to it, I was able to put my America. Look at that. It fits so nice. Perfect, right? I say right next to the door. So you, when you walk in, you know America's here. Let's keep working. Okay, you guys know me. It's now. 7:40. Um, yeah. Now I'm finally done in the shop. Got everything all picked up. All my tools back in their cases, organized, all ready for tomorrow. Check the oil pan bolts. They were all tight, which is awesome. But then the uh, brake lights and the running lights kind of weren't working. Shit. Look at that. There's a lot of water in that one. But uh, I just had to. I actually, the bulbs were still good. I just had to clean it out. They just had a lot of corrosion in there. Cleaned it all out with a screwdriver and bent the tabs back just for a little more grip. And then uh, put some of the dielectric grease. Running lights and brake lights all work. I just can't test reverse lights. One looks like it's burnt. The other one looks like it's good. But uh, I have two extra bulbs and have been in my toolbox forever. So, awesome. Kick ass. Now, I'm going to go inside and get some videos done and shower and relax. Long, tough day tomorrow coming. Got to pull a tranny in the salvage yard. The pick and pull.